I am now going to show you how to install a hard drive in your desktop tower unit case. This is a SATA disk drive, meaning it has a spinning disk inside it, and its data is transferred via a SATA cable. There are of course different types of drives, like hybrid drives and solid state drives. They are more expensive than your normal disk drive, and their advantage speaks for itself they are much faster at booting up and loading programs. Now, they are no more reliable than the normal disk drive, so do not be fooled by anyone that states that they are. I go into this subject in more detail on my website, so you can check it out there. So, let's show you how to install a SATA disk drive. Here is the disk drive we will be installing, a three and a half inch SATA disk drive. The information you require for connecting the drive is printed on the hard drive. As shown here. So, in general, there is only two connections needed when connecting a SATA hard drive. Power and data transfer. So, here is your data cable connector and your power connector. Now here is an extension power cable just to demonstrate how to connect the power to the hard drive. So your power will come from the power supply via a SATA power cable. The SATA power connector is keyed so it will only fit in one direction. It's shaped like an L as shown here. So line it up in the correct orientation and push it into place like so. And the SATA data cable is also shaped like an L, shown here. And line the connector and the cable up and push into place. Now, installing the hair drive in the desktop tower unit case. All cases are designed in a different way. So, just to explain this. In some tower cases, you will install from the front. So either there is a slot for it to be inserted or you remove the front panel and slot it in with clips attached. But the one I am installing here is your basic tower unit and it's installed from inside of the case. It's important to check the area in which you are installing the drive for the likes of your memory module getting in the way. You may have to remove it. Any power cables obstructing the path to the bay in which you are installing the hair drive may also have to be removed. Now we'll just put in the drive here. You can put it in a different bay if you like, like I'm showing you here. Once you have the drive in the bay that you want it in, Line up the screw holes in the side of the drive with the slots in the case as shown here. Then just get your screws and screw them in. I just want to show you the male Molex to SATA power extension cable. The idea here is if your power supply's second SATA power cable is not long enough to reach the hard drive, like this one here, just a little bit short. So 
when I tried to put it into the hard drive, it's just short, it's too tight to get it in. So you can get yourself a male Molex to SATA power extension cable like the one I have here and add this extension to one of the spare female Molex connections coming from the power supply. Here is the male connector, 4 pin male Molex connector and this is what it looks like and there is the 4 pins. And the female Molex connector that connects to the male connector has four slots as shown here. Now grab the female connector and push the male connector into the slot in the female connector. They are keyed so again they will only go in in one direction. And there you have an extended SATA power connection for your hard drive. So let's connect it to the hard drive power connector on the back of the drive as I have shown you earlier. The second connection we need to make to the hard drive is the SATA data connector. So line it up and push it into place. And the other end of this data cable is plugged into the motherboard as shown. Now, check your motherboard user guide to pinpoint the speed of the data connector and install the data cable in the one that has the fastest transfer of speed for your hard drive. The different speeds of these SATA data connectors will be indicated by a color coded system. On this board, the yellow connector has a speed of 3 gigabytes per second and you can install four drives on the same line and two purple SATA connectors for, the for a further two drives at the same speed but on a different line. So you can say install a DVD drive on a second line and it will not affect the speed of your hard drive. And that's it, your hard drive is now installed.